Seven panel judge at the Supreme Court have just risen and adjourned the two key cases before them for uh, another time. Let's bring you some specifics. Uh, Joseph Akable is still with me in studio. What has gone on in the last few minutes when and, and that there has been an, an adjournment? What exactly has happened? So we know there are two cases that are at the Supreme Court. There's one that was filed by Richard Delaskai, uh, raising issues about whether a private member could sponsor a bill that is passed that has implications for the public purse. Then mm -hmm. the second one, which was actually the first case that was filed by researcher Dr. Mandoda against the Attorney General and the Speaker of Parliament. It also raises that issue, but additionally raises issues about the content of the bill in relation to restrictions of human rights. Now what we've seen take place in the last 25 minutes is that the Supreme Court did what normally lawyers would call case management. Because if you recall, a couple of weeks back, there were concerns about the fact that the case was not being dealt with expeditiously. Right. And so the court gave some instructions. And if you recall, back then, there was this statement that came from the judicial service, which gave an update on the various cases and what had transpired. And at mm -hmm. the time, in the case of Dr. Prince O'Brien Crown versus the Attorney General, the judicial service explained that a judgment had been delivered on the 24th of July 2024. Then the Amanda Odoi one, at the time, the judicial service said that the Attorney General has not filed a defense, neither of the three parties filed a memorandum of issues. For the Richard Sky one, at the time, the judicial service did indicate that Parliament, the Attorney General, were yet to file defense. Neither of the parties filed a memorandum of issues. So what we saw happening today was the Supreme Court was checking from the lawyers whether they had complied with the orders to file the statement of defense and the memorandum of issues which they were required mm. to file. The statement of defense simply is that the Speaker of Parliament, you've been sued, the Attorney General has been sued. What is your response to the suit? Okay. Memorandum of issues says, what do you consider to be the key legal issues that you want the courts to address when dealing with that matter? Mm. The court seems to have taken a further step in the Amanda Odoi case in that they were satisfied with the process that had been filed so far. And so on the 18th is the day for judgment. On the Amanda Odoi case? On the Amanda Odoi case. Okay. For the Richard Sky one, they simply took an adjournment to the 18th. And so we do not know whether it will be a hearing mm. that will take place or it will be a judgment that is taking place. Mm. But all of this is coming after the elections on December 7th. Yeah. And the context for the discussion is important because if this case is not dealt with expeditiously for the bill to either be signed into law or not signed into law for the parliamentary processes to resume again, and this, the life of this parliament comes to an end, it will mean that the bill would have to go through the entire parliamentary process again. Right. Which means that a bill will have to be taken to parliament. They have to do the first, second, and third reading before the bill is passed. And mm. so it is important that whatever process is taking place now reaches some conclusion. And at least we are seeing some end in sight because the life of the current parliament will end on the 7th of January 2025. And right. so that will be way before then. At least you know that the Amanda Odoi one, there will be judgment on the 18th. Of, 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 of December. The, uh, December, yeah. All right. So the two cases, simply put, the two cases before court, both are expected to come back on the 18th of December, but they are coming in different forms. One jud uh, judgment will be given, the Amanda Odoi one, and the Richard Delaskai one, the lawyer for, the, uh, for Richard Sky was asked to file uh, more like an amendment of his motion. Yes, in fact, they had actually made a request to make some changes to the case that they had filed. Right. And so you saw, you saw the court give a number of dates. And so first, they gave the Richard Sky's legal team up to the 22nd to make those changes. Mm -hmm. Then they told the Attorney General and the Speaker of Parliament that, look, you have up until 27th of November if you also want to make, make any responses. Right. Because, I mean, if you brought a particular case, I've responded already, and you've decided that you want to make changes to it, I also have to have the right to respond. respond. Because maybe the change that you have made, I may not have a response in the original defense that I filed. Okay. So it's only fair that they are given the opportunity, if they take it to respond appropriately to it, mm. then once that is done, the court will come back on the 18th. We mm. do not know whether on the 18th it may have a hearing or a judgment, but at least we know that for the Amanda Odoi one, judgment on the 18th, the court will answer the questions about the legality of the anti-LGBT bill and the issues around uh, whether it can be allowed, the president should be allowed to go ahead to sign it into law mm. or that whether that should not happen. And we know that the president has simply not signed it because of the pendency of these two cases. Yeah. So and it's, and it's very interesting important. that uh, we put that in context. So on the 18th of December, we are likely to hear a judgment on one of the cases and then whether or not a hearing on the second or a judgment as well. We'll definitely bring that to you here on TV3. But the long and short of it is if this particular case, the LGBTQ case, is not fully uh, concluded for the president to either sign or not, then it means that 
whatever administration comes in after December 7 elections is likely to now um, bear the, the, the challenge of having to go through the entire process of taking it back to parliament, etc. And then, before we can, as a country, decide whether our laws now bar or accept LGBTQ people or people of that orientation in this jurisdiction.